welcome back to another cloud episode and agree or not we all wanted to have our own website isn't it but the blocking points might be cost technical challenges like writing html css maintaining the server or whatever the technical guys out there might say oh why don't you use a wordpress to deploy your web without any coding yeah that works but you need a compute like a vm or container which might take some cost for the cpu usage what if i say there is a possibility to build your website without any coding and host it almost for free yes there is a word almost because you have to purchase and renew your domain but you might reduce your hosting cost to almost zero if you want to have a small and static website and let's see how to do it and this is my website this website is completely hosted on aws s3 bucket which is not using any cpu or any container or vm like that and believe me or not i'm not paying anything for several months now okay first thing first you need to purchase a domain domain means the website which you want maybe this is daslearning.in which is my website and for example if i need another domain there are multiple providers out there you can go to godaddy.com search for your domain maybe das learning online something like that whatever it is search for it and if the domain name is available purchase that and you can click on continue with card and pay for that and similar steps exist for other providers as well so you can click on buy now and you can pay for the amount and domain will be yours so i have already purchased a domain for me so which is das learning tech which is a new one a blank one for now and if i go to daslearning.tech you'll see the default page which is mapping to the hosting site itself in our case we want to deploy our website right and we do not want to do any coding part to create a website without any coding so you can go to mobirize.com and there are other tools as well you can use nice page or any other thing like that and you can download your installable file i have already downloaded and install it on my machine and let me switch my screen to that one and for the first time you might have to log in with this tool i have already logged in with my gmail id and for the first time you might get a plus icon to create your project if i want to create a new site now i can click on this plus icon and there will be several templates available by the company few are free maybe 5 to 6 so i'm using a free one for example you are a photographer you can choose this one and you can very well go with blank as well that's also fine so let me take this photo one click on okay so here you can do everything graphically so for example i need to change this name so you can put your company name home and let me delete this ones so i want two menu now navigation bar and if you click on this you can link to any pages in your website or maybe any other website for that matter so home page is fine for me and let me create another page which is called about and i can very much copy this page here about and you can customize the settings i'm not going deep into it i can click on this one then i can go with about and you can add your menu whatever you need you can change this one to something else you can change any text whatever you like so for example my name somnath das i do not and i do not believe in god for example whatever it is you can customize your menu button here you can choose any of your pages web address or anything like that this is not a tutorial about how to create your website pages you can explore it yourself you can delete a block for example if i want to delete this block i can very well delete it if i want to add a block click on this small plus icon and maybe i need a video a drag and drop and if you want to change this video link paste in your youtube video link or whatever you have that will be fine and you can almost customize everything all the photos you have here or maybe you can browse your computer to insert any of your images like this one this is my personal image that's changed now once everything is ready for you all your pages links then click on this publish button and publish it to your local folder and maybe let me put somewhere else click on publish wait a bit and it will open up your browser just to show you how the html or website looks in your local computer system now we are going to take this to the cloud so that it can be mapped to your domain name so first thing we have already got the domain purchased second thing you have to sign up with aws that's pretty easy you need an email address and a credit card that's all and here you have to search for s3 which is storage as a service or simple storage click on s3 so basically it's quite similar to your google drive one drive or whatever it is and it is the service provided by aws 
and you have to create a bucket forget about the old buckets which are there click on create bucket and very importantly you have to name your bucket as per your domain name so which will be daslearning.take for me paste that one and choose your region nearest to your customer or for example i am based out of india so i can take something like mumbai and put all the things as default i'll tell you what are the things need to be changed going forward click on create bucket and the new bucket has been created another bucket you have to create basically and let me create that as well click on create bucket again and this time i'll put www.mywebsite name and similarly mumbai will be fine for me and click on create bucket now my two buckets are ready there are few settings which we have to put in click on the domain name bucket which is daslearning.tech go inside click on the properties and go at the bottom side and here you will see static website hosting and this is by default disabled because we have chosen all the default values while creating click on edit click on enable there are two options we will go with host a static website and what should be your home page that should be index.html and you can check it wherever you have published your file so index is my home page it can be anything for you you need to just write it here and if you have any error page we have not created any error page but it can be there maybe i can put error.html that's optional and that's it click on save changes once that is done another thing you have to do you have to copy this arn value and put it in a notepad that will be required then next inside that go to permissions so once you are inside permissions you will see all the public accesses are blocked by default click on this edit button and uncheck this one click on save changes and you have to type in confirm here click on confirm and the third step will be you need to write a bucket policy so basically this policy will allow public read access to your bucket because this will be publicly hosting your website right you need to get the policy i have already put it in my github i'll share the link okay so basically you have to copy this value once it is copied put it in your notepad and there are two options you already have your arn you can replace the entire line here or you can take the bucket name and just replace this one okay and that's it copy this value come to your aws console paste it here oh, i think i need to click on this edit policy button now i will be able to paste it yes and that's about it click on save changes and you will notice access will be showing as public so i'll just try to explain what this does basically so once you put your bucket name that's unique for you and this star means any object inside that should be allowed and this is the action s3 get object basically anybody will be able to get the object that's our motto okay that's done one more thing we have to do we have to define the redirect as well so let's go to www.daslearning.tech for now which we have created at the second step now go to properties and similarly go to website hosting at the bottom click on edit click on enable and this time we will be using redirect because my website hosting will be done through that bucket which is daslearning.tech and this redirect will be for my naked domain name which is daslearning.tech so what this means somebody is typing www.this website that will get redirected to your website and protocol should be http that's also fine click on save changes and you do not need to change the permission for this bucket now i need to upload all the files here in the naked domain name which is your daslearning.tech or whatever it is for you click on this upload button here you need to check how your website is structured so for example my html pages are outside and there is a asset folder which contains all the images as well as it has the css javascript and other things which are technical and you need to upload all of those things except the movirize extension so first i need to upload this folder how do i do that click on add folder button here and go to your folder so i need to go to my folder which was html and i need to upload this asset folder first click on upload and then i need to click on add files because html files are missing now so click on these two html files click on open you will see everything is selected now just click on upload wait a bit for the upload to continue now my upload is successful what i can do is i can close this window i can go to properties and scroll down to the bottom copy this value and let me just paste it in the notepad 
this is my raw website which is being hosted by aws itself and you will see your website looks similar whatever you have defined and if i click on about but it is not mapped to my domain yet so what i need to do is i have already copied this value copy the value without http colon double slash go to your dns setting so once you purchase your domain name from any provider be it godaddy hostinger or whatever it is you will have your dns settings it will look something like this there will be a c name and i'll explain what this is so basically a record is your ip address where your website is running it might be a load balancer or might be a server with public ip whatever it is that is now serving my content which was i was showing in the beginning so it is serving this one and i do not need this because this is not my website so i can simply delete it don't delete this one www this is another redirect from your dns itself and now i need to add another record and in the type you need to select cname cname is basically for your you can use a target url instead of an ip address so i need to paste that das learning whatever amazon has given me paste it here and leave this name as blank you do not need to provide anything and ttl means time to leave so this will be a kind of caching in your browser and it's in seconds so for example i need to cache it for maybe 5 minutes which is 300 seconds and you can choose your value accordingly so let me add it okay now if i refresh it this will take little bit time oh it's done my website is now serving which is daslearning.take and let me check another page which was about and that's also working fine and you will notice one footer will be added by the tool if you are using the free version so you have your working website ready and this is my main website which is also running on aws and i am not paying anything for it i have to just renew my domain as per the period defined by my domain register one thing i wanted to highlight to you this is a static website and what does that mean i cannot do any sign up login send a message or any custom programming with this i can very much display my portfolio videos images or whatever information i, I wanted to share with the audience by saying that let's wrap our course and see you in the next video thanks for watching